This is my orc army. It is two eBay rescue lots which I refurbished and then speed painted over the course of about a week. There were a lot of models in this rescue in all kinds of varying condition, so you might see some very strange kit bashes in the upcoming close-ups. I'll be doing a separate video on how I manage the whole project, but put simply, I've tried to sort everything by model and loadout. Now I don't know that much about orcs since I've never played them and this is just a house army for guests, but this sea of green in the center of the parade are all the standard size green skins that had been kitted with a pistol and a melee weapon. I think that this image right here is proof positive that using nothing more than the three color rule and uniformly basing your models can obscure an extremely simplistic and sloppy paint job. The eye is overtaken by the spectacle of it all, and who cares that there's no layering or highlighting or that I didn't paint any eyes. The orcs, also called greenskins, are a savage, warlike, greenskin species of humanoids who possess physiological features of both animals and fungi who are spread all across the Milky Way galaxy. They are seen by their enemies, which is pretty much everyone else in the universe, as savage, violent, and crude, but they are the most successful species in the whole galaxy, outnumbering possibly every other intelligent star-faring species, with the exception of the Tyranids. Greenskins are one of the most dangerous alien races to plague the galaxy. Numerous beyond belief and driven always to fight and conquer, the orcs threaten every single intelligent species of the galaxy. Mercifully, most of them are short-lived, soon destroying themselves in a maelstrom of violence and conflict. But should the orcs ever truly unify, they would crush all opposition. Orcs generate a potent psychic field that allows them to accomplish many feats of technological engineering that might seem otherwise impossible. At the same time, the power of this psychic field is directly proportional to the number of greenskins present in a given location. The more orcs that gather, the more orcs are drawn to them, and at the same time, the power and intelligence of the greenskins begins to grow with their numbers. The orcs' unquenchable thirst for battle has always proved their downfall. Historically, the tribes have spent much of their time fighting amongst themselves, waging brutal wars with only the strongest surviving. On occasion, an orc leader will emerge who is mighty enough to defeat his rivals and unite the warring tribes. His success draws other tribes to him, and soon a great war is underway. Partly a migration, partly a holy war that can exterminate the populations of entire star systems. When orcs are on the rampage, the galaxy trembles, and in the age of the Dark Imperium, there are more waws rising than ever before recorded. I'm gonna pause for a moment, because I have been mispronouncing wa. Here's the correct pronunciation. <clears throat> wa! The orcs are a biologically engineered species created more than 60 million years ago as a warrior race originally called the Krork by the long-vanished reptilian alien species known as the Old Ones. They were created to fight the Necrons and their Catan masters in the great interstellar conflict called the War in Heaven, which shattered the galactic civilization of the Old Ones that existed prior to the rise of the Eldar. Orcs are thus genetically engineered to be muscular, aggressive, and none too bright. Their technology is maintained by a cast of odd boys who possess genetically implanted dispositions and technical knowledge that grant them unusual skill with maintaining and developing technology. Orcs lack individual psychic power, being denied such abilities by the old ones. However, they do have a sort of collaborative collective psychic ability, meaning if enough orcs believe something is true, then it will actually become so brought into being in real space through the power of the immaterium by their latent psychic ability. For example, orc rockets painted yellow create bigger explosions simply because the vast majority of orcs believe that they do. This is also why much of the orcs seemingly ramshackle technology will do terrible damage in the hands of orcs, but cease to function when used by other intelligent races. Orc culture was originally intended as a joke and has given birth to several concepts widely recognized among Warhammer 40,000 gamers. For example, most longtime hobbyists have a collection of assorted metal pieces, additional weapons, and parts left over from modeling projects, which they keep around in the expectation that they may be useful in future scratch build models. They have a very ramshackle, almost post-apocalyptic Mad Max aesthetic to them which makes their modeling, kit bashing, painting, and associated terrain making very, very fun. I've done a couple videos in the past on orc-type stuff, and I'll be doing more this month. 
At the time of this video publishing, it is Orktober of 2021, so this is the first of a series of Ork-related videos to celebrate the plight of the Ork. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my Ork army. Thanks for watching. I'm Wylock. Make things and play games.